Welcome to the Nash Film Podcast Series, a series of 10-minute interviews with filmmakers participating in the 2022 Nashville Film Festival. Each podcast will be a brief introduction to one of the films in this year's festival. This episode features Colin Barnacle, the director of the documentary Carol and Johnny. Carol and Johnny was produced by Words and Pictures and the Barnacle Brothers. Executive produced by Colin Barnacle, Nick Barnacle, Aaron Cohen, Libby Geist, and Connor Shell. Total running time, 90 minutes. Welcome, Colin. Thanks for having me. Thanks for doing this. We appreciate it. Um, all right, so just go ahead. Tell us about your documentary and uh, tell us what it's about. Yeah, so Carol and Johnny is about a um, married couple who in uh, from 1986 to 1994 robbed 56 straight banks together. Uh, Johnny went into the bank. Carol was the getaway driver. It's the longest active streak of bank robberies without getting caught in, in America. Um, and they were caught uh, eventually in 1994, and they both went away for a very long time. Carol got out in 2010, and Johnny got compassionate release on basically a life sentence in 2021. So we caught up with him right as he got out of uh, prison. Um, and his plan was originally to maybe reconnect with his wife uh, down in Texas. And so Carol was his wife? Is. Is, is his wife. wife. So okay. yeah, they remain, okay. they are, they are um, a married couple throughout the, the film. Uh, they got married in 1980 and uh, still married. Uh, she was his getaway driver and he was the bank robber. Uh, they're from Dallas, but uh, they've lived mostly uh, in West Texas and then moved to California in some kind of way. It's actually the kind of American dream story. Two people living above their, above their means, uh, overachieving. They just, the overachieving happened to be really good at robbing banks. So, <laughs> so what inspired you to, to take their story and turn it into a film? What, what was it that inspired you to make this happen? Yeah, a lot of it had to do with I had I had read an article about them. We're always kind of researching for another project. And I had read just a blurb in an article um, in from Seattle Times in 1994. And it said basically said man and wife, record string of bank robberies, life sentences. They're from Texas. And I was like, what is this all about? And there was really, they didn't go to trial or anything like that. So there was really nothing in it. And the, they got arrested within days of the OJ Simpson, uh, the glove moment. So it got totally wiped out of any kind of crime beat. And I was just wondering who they were. So I sent Johnny a letter in prison and he responded back with like a very eloquent, cursive, 10 page letter about his life. And I was like, Ooh, this guy is very interesting. And then when I talked to him on the phone, he sounded like some kind of Western version of, of Texas version of Billy Bob Thornton with uh, who had clearly spent a lot of time narrating his own life in a, in a small room in a prison. So he was very good at it. And I, I thought, let's get a camera on him and see where it goes. So you, you've talked about Johnny. What made Carol either, I mean, obviously the love of his life and his wife, but what made her, I guess, and Johnny to the same extent, appeal as a story uh, other than their success? I mean, obviously that's pretty much a, a something to take note of, but something drew you to them. Like you said, the Billy Bob Thornton similarity. What else was it? So originally it was just the bank robberies and seeing where it's go but it, the, the story is really about carol more than it is it about johnny but the the film really it plays out the same way that we experienced it that originally it's about the bank robberies and it becomes really about carol and carol kind of having you know learning to change and johnny having the inability to change who he is and 
Carol does at 60 years old, uh, 61 years old, she changes who she is. And Johnny just, he, he can't do it. He just has an inability to be anybody else but John Williams, the bank robber. Would you dare call this a love story? I would say, I would say it deals with the absence of love. Okay. Fascinating. Love um, or the absence of it. Okay. Yeah. So final question is in, you know, why would you tell some, or what would you tell someone that's going to the film festival and can see any film they want to, why should they see Carol and Johnny? Yeah, it's about, it's just about two Texas bank robbers who happen to be married, who live a life way above what they could have achieved in normal circumstances. Uh, and they use the money to go on these road trips across the Western United States. It's very kind of Americana, but most of the film has to deal with kind of not only the crime, but focuses on the characters, which is really Carol's story of changing who she is in the, while rethinking what she went through with this, her husband, John Williams. Got it. Well, thank you so much for your time, Colin. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks so much.